Hi guys, how all are you? I really hope you all are doing amazing. Welcome to my window lead and your family. Let's get started. Guys, today we are going to talk about silk pillows or satin pillows, you can say. Whichever feels better in your budget. Guys, satin pillows are amazing for your hair health. If you have naturally dry hair, frizzy hair or your hair are just beyond your own control, then this is something you should be doing. Replace all your cotton pillows with satin pillows because what they basically are designed to do, the satin fabric itself naturally kind of retains the heat. So all you need to do is switch your cotton cotton covers to satin covers. I'll tell you why. Because cotton is naturally designed by nature to absorb. So whatever you put on a cotton fabric, you know that it just it absorbs it so when you sleep for eight or nine hours on a cotton ka pillow your hair basically is losing its moisture whatever moisture is there whatever percentage is there it's going away that you don't have to do if you are wor worried about you know the dryness of your hair so the first thing you will do is get rid of the cotton covers and get new satin covers second thing you need to do guys you need to take some castor oil not a huge quantity because if you take huge quantity of that oil that oil is very very sticky it will stick to your hair you will use a lot of shampoo to get rid of it and you will be back to square one so that's not what you're supposed to be doing you're taking five or ten drops of that oil mix it with your carrier oil whatever it is it can be your um, uh, whatever your daily use oil is like you know coconut oil olive oil or whatever you use take care mix it with that oil the castor oil and massage your hair very gently don't rub it don't try to do it fast don't try to do it super slow just normal massage you have to do and that's it you have to you know you have to make sure that all the parts of your head are covered with your massage okay just five ten minutes guys it's gonna take and it's gonna give you amazing results so that's what you're supposed to be doing do this at bedtime i would say but if you don't have time you can do it for one or two hours maybe not the massage the massage has to be done for 10 minutes only then you can just you know lie down on your satin pillow what that satin pillow is going to do it's going to create heat and that oil kind of starts working it kind of you know inducing that moisture in your head in your scalp and that's what's needed because to retain moisture you need to give moisture to your hair right so that's what we are doing right here what I personally do uh, at night time I just you know massage my hair and go to sleep and forget about it that's why I'm saying don't use a lot of oil in your hair now. Unless your hair is super dry, you can increase or decrease the quantity accordingly. Guys, third thing, why I'm stressing on a satin pillow rather than a silk pillow, I'm sure you guys have googled it a little already. That's why you're here on this video maybe. If you don't mind paying a little more to the silk guy, go ahead, buy a silk pillow, more than happy to execute it. And then if you're you know low on budget, you don't want to sacrifice too much of money, go and buy a satin pillow both are gonna do pretty much the same job the only difference guys would be the price obviously and then there might be little slight differences because obviously you know satin is a man-made fabric silk is a naturally derived fabric so there are going to be some changes but I've been using satin I have never used silk uh, fabric uh, cases pillow cases as in and my satin is doing wonders to my hair so i'm very happy and more than happy to recommend satin fabrics for your pillowcases the fourth point is how to take care of your satin pillows you do not have to throw it into the machine in fact i i never throw it in the machine ever because machine is literally going to give it a good spin okay it's gonna lose all its sheen all its you know amazing feel and softness of it so what you do you put it in a mild detergent just soak it for an hour, two hour max, not needed more than that. And then just give it a nice rinse in clean water. Dry it. That's all you have to do. There is no, no, no effort required. Don't do too much of it if it's not needed. So that is all you have to do to keep it. All the commitment you need to dry your pillow and take care of it. Number five, and I think it's the most overrated basic tip that you will get in every single video you will watch is people come to videos and say this remedy is not working for me you know 
it's not mm -mm, it's not for me my hair is way too dry my hair is genetically dried it cannot be sorted guys keep the excuses aside you have to follow the routine not today not tomorrow not once a month for 21 days for 30 days you have to make sure you include it in your you know daily care like Treat it like, you know, how you eat, how you breathe. These all things are very important to keep your hair nice and healthy. So don't just do remedies and forget about them. I would say do it, do it religiously and your hair will tell you the difference like physically, like, you know, visibly, you'll be able to see the difference it will make to your hair. And you will come back saying, wow, Chanchal, thank you so much for sharing this amazing, amazing remedy. Amazing. <laughs> routine <laughs> this is not a remedy it is a routine that you have to follow to get good results and i would say do it for the whole lifetime it does not take a lot of effort if i can do it you can do it too i really hope this video is amazing to watch and you had fun you learned something new drop a comment below like my video like my channel and i'll be back with some more amazing information in the next video thank you so much for watching take care bye